Hi guys, this is me Syed Irfan back again with a new video. So guys, I will be showing you a method how to enable eSIM on S20 Plus. You can do it with S20 also. So by Samsung, it is by default uh, that they are uh, disabling this feature for Indian variant. But right now I, you can see that in my phone, it is enabled. As you can see, eSIM, Airtel, I do have it. I can still add a new plan and get another uh, sim installed for the first sim okay so i will show you how to do this it is very easy but before this see the factory reset will be done you will lose all your data so i prefer backing up through smart switch to pc i've done it personally but i was unable to restore back because of some error it's better you back up to samsung cloud which is here you know you get samsung cloud so you can back up and restore later so guys reset will be done factory reset and then some people who are not using uh, I, I mean to say some people who are using upi they might not be able to use samsung pay in samsung pay you don't have option for upi if you go back to this one so your warranty will not be void as per mine because i went to samsung showroom I had to do some changes so it was not void and then uh, updates some people ask about the update so I received the last update recently see the last update was on 23rd so on this uh, same official ROM I was with the same ROM I got the official update also so no need for worrying about the uh, reset so all the things are same it is by default by the Samsung only thing it is locked for Indian models so how to enable it I will show you so guys in part one I showed you I had an eSIM option so this is on the Indian variant the same one but I did factory reset just to show you that this doesn't have a eSIM option so to go to eSIM option you have to just change CSC code that is country code okay so you can be on this country, you can use all the features which they have in their country. For example, we are going to the UAE version. So I will show you how to do it. So first of all, take out your IMEA number that will be star 06 hash. You can find out your IMEA details there. Okay. So after that, just punch this number star hash 272 hash and then your IMEI number the first sim one okay so mine I will be typing right away after this and hash so this menu will open so as you can see this INU INU is our home CSC so you can change your CSC according to this but it is better to change to XSG that is UAE so you can see here XSG that is UAE's version so once you select this and click on install you will get this option sale and network code change only so what you can do is you can select this option first and then click on ok so right now your phone will boot and it will factory reset so what you have to do now is remove your sim card ok and connect to Wi-Fi and complete your process don't install your sim card until you go to the home screen ok I will just show you that also So I am removing the sim. Just remove the sim and keep it away. Once it boots, you can have a look. Okay, I will fast forward this process for you. So guys, as you can see, it's starting Android and now we are in the welcome screen. So you can change these settings according to your wish. So I'm selecting English. If you go to the settings, 
you can go to connections sim manager and you can see there is eSIM option with add mobile plan also okay so this is as simple as that no need to do anything extra you're just changing in CSE code you're not voiding your warranty but I'm I will not be responsible for any of these things okay it is on you guys if you want to use eSIM then you can always go ahead with this okay uh, right now it's still under process for all this updating and stuff so to get an eSIM in Airtel it is easy in Geo it is a little bit difficult because you have to go visit Reliance so I will show you how to connect to a mobile plan okay for that I will be needing an hotspot or if you have a mobile data connection you can even insert sim but i prefer to use an hotspot it is better option okay so that will be really helpful for you guys so i will show you how to do that so first let me connect to a hotspot so i'm connecting to a hotspot right now So it is connected. Now, as I said, you I will receive a email from Airtel stating that this is the QR code you can scan, and within two hours it will get activated. I will show you the email. So this is the email which I got here. So once I go inside it. I will get a QR code here uh, see like this so no need to do anything extra just go there on your phone go to connections sim settings and add mobile plan so here it will search for plan you can scan QR code open your thing and then scan this QR code as you can see it is showing me add plan to your mobile now add and use so it is really easy process so once you add this plan will be added to your phone and then you will get a network within two hours once your uh, normal sim gets deactivated okay and in airtel it the process is really easy you can have this eSIM option so as you can see eSIM is there now it's asking me to restart so once I restart, the eSIM will get activated. So now when it's booting, you can install your first SIM card. You can see I'm not installing second. I'm just installing the first SIM card in the SIM tray. So once again, we are booted and you can see that there are options for SIM connectivity in SIM manager. You can see both the sims are available so i will show you in the settings as well the second sim slot which was for uh, physical use it will be converted to eSIM as you can see here the emei for the second is eSIM and you will be able to use eSIM so google pay and all the upi applications are useful enough you can use it but only samsung pay you can't use samsung pay that is you can use but it will be using csc of uae so in uae there is no upi so you will not be able to use if you have any doubts please leave in comment and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel